My favorite Minecraft edition, Weston edition, the best edition of the game, and I my spent like two hours making myself my own resource pack, and I put Weston edition. So, yeah, please admire my beautiful work. And uh, today we'll be playing the Deep Dark Experimental Snapshot 1. So that's basically like a 1.19 snapshot that we're going to be playing today, so I'm pretty excited. And um, yeah, it just came out a couple like days ago or something. Uh, speaking of days, I haven't posted in like 10 days, so I'm sorry for, uh, not doing that. I, uh, I didn't have any ideas for any videos, so, uh, I didn't make any videos. The warden is kinda ugly, in my opinion. Alright. And here we are. So, this is not the final edition of 1.18. We still have lots of editions of 1.18 to go. But this is, um, one. Oh, I can't zoom. Frick. And you can, like, still submit your feedback on it and stuff before they, um, actually implement it into the game. But today we're going to ex be exploring the, uh, couple new things, which are, like, the Deep Dark, the Warden, and some of the, um, sensors they added. So, this chicken is gonna, uh, go in down into this hole. Hey, 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 buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Uh, yeah, I have a really short, short attention span. I'm sorry. So, the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be spawning the Warden. So there's actually a warden spawn egg. Warden. Here he is. And um, I tested him out one time and apparently he just murders anything that he can hear. So like if that sheep makes a baw noise or starts to eat grass, he will uh, go over and slaughter it and obliterate it to death. Uh, so we'll have to see if the warden obliterates dogs and cats later. But for now, we're just going to summon him. And Oh gosh, he's terrifying. Oh god, oh, he actually looks really cool though. He's slightly terrifying, but what- why is his head so freaking weird, like rectangle thingy? Why is his head a rectangle? What is wrong with you? Hey, look at me! Hey! I'm right here, yeah, yeah, come get me, come get me. So I just want to see how much damage he does while I'm in survival, so I'm gonna make noises. And he's gonna retrieve my noises. So can I like, fall? And then, uh... Uh, okay. You're really loud! Did you know that? Uh, hey, buddy. Hey, hey, but wrong way. Yeah, that's right. So I'm gonna go into survival, game mode, survival, and then see see if he wants to. What are you doing? Oh, oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh, that was the. Okay, that was terrifying. Even not even he even if he's not in the caves, that's absolutely terrifying. Like it just everything goes dark. All you can see is the sun and the grass. And then all of a sudden, you see the warden. He creeps up to you. You're exploring in the wilderness. He hears you! He's coming! And... Uh, he goes right by you. Oh. You're going the wrong way, buddy. Give him a sound, and you're dead. That is truly terrifying, and we're not even in the, in the deep dark yet. Also, I really don't like that effect. It freaks me out. Just a little bit. So can we have that effect turned off? Wait, can I just go into complete darkness except the sun? This feels like looking at the eclipse, because like when you look at the eclipse, you can see nothing in those glasses except the sun. Like those fancy glasses you know you can buy. Uh, can this effect go away, you stupid idiot? Oh yeah, watch this. He hears a sound and he murders. So if that sheep makes one more noise, like sheep, hey buddy over here. Oh, he's going to absolutely obliterate the sheep. And uh, he hears the sheep, he's coming. He, uh, the sheep does not like this. Can, can you just murder the sheep? It's right there. Right here. Right here, buddy. Right here. Right up. Okay. Uh, why won't you help me demonstrate? I'm trying to demonstrate something. So let's see. Let's put a sheep right here, okay? So the sheep is right here. Here's it. Bye. And buddy. Get with the program! Just kill a sheep! I mean, come on! How many sheep do I have to spawn? Oh! There, he killed one! He killed one! Yes! Okay, I want to see how many sheep he can murder. So, we'll make a nice little fence here. Good, good, good. And then we'll just put a couple of sheep in, you know? Oh, did I say a couple? I meant 564. Well, now that we're beginning to struggle and uh, we're starting to lag here, let's grab a warden and see how many sheep he can kill because this thing is a killing machine so let's see if he can sense all these also there's a pink sheep in there which is pretty cool hey buddy let's see how many of these guys he can uh he can murder and also i can't even some i can't even get him right now because he's uh there's so many sheep i can't even find a block so let's just hey hey go in there buddy all right are you gonna kill me anything 
And he's struggling to even get past him. He's getting lots of sounds, it looks like. But are you going to do anything? Are you going to do anything, buddy? Uh, he's not doing anything. Murder some crap, idiot. Murder some crap. Look, this guy's right here. Look at him. Look at him. Get him. Get the pink sheet. Well, that didn't work. But you know what's going to work? This explosion. Oh. Oh, that was a bad explosion. That explosion sucks. Let's make it explode more. Explode! Be free, sheep! Be free, sheep. Okay, now I'm just gonna kill at E. Oh, that kills me too. Okay, so also they added a new biome, which is the deep dark. So I'm really excited to see this. So let's uh, locate biome deep uh, dark. And let's see. So that's 2,000 blocks away. Is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, cool. It only took a little bit of mining. So, uh, here's the deep dark biome. And this is the Skulk Catalyst. Now, really scary story about the Skulk Catalyst. When something nearby to the Skulk Catalyst dies, a Skulk biome will be created. So that's a pretty terrifying backstory. That means that, uh, that means that something that died here has created a biome. So... Let's pull a skull catalyst here, um, for instance, and then we'll kill a sheep. Because for some reason, I really like killing sheep today. So we're going to put a sheep here, a uh, black sheep, and we're going to get a sword. So let's get a netherite sword. Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Come back here. Come. Yeah, he's out of here. So let's murder this sheep. Regular old sheep. And I believe if we murder the sheep, a little biome here is created. So this is the... Uh, oh, I didn't get a chance to read it because I'm not exactly sure what this is. What is this? Oh, just Skulk. It's just Skulk. So, let's murder the sheep right here. And as you can see, yeah, the, the biome gets created. So, I'm going to stick him in a hole and see if the amount of nearness to it matters. Oh, yeah. Interesting. So, you can, you can easily farm Skulk with that, which is kind of interesting. So it looks like over here we just have a couple of skulk sensors. Now, skulk sensors, if you don't know what they already, if you already don't know what they do, basically what they do. Hold on, let me turn up my. Oh, uh, okay. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. I was trying to turn up my brightness, but um, game, you're supposed to go faster than this. Thank you. So as you can see, if we uh, let's grab a lan lantern right here, lantern, so that you can actually see. And uh, oh, that's so much better. Okay, so if you have a skulk sensor right here, if you make any sort of movement, the skulk sensor will notice the sounds you make, and it will make a redstone output. So you can do crazy things with this, like, you can take redstone, and you can, you, you can like, power a piston. Um, so it really depends on how close the signal is. So if the signal is far away, it's not going to power the redstone very well. So, like, if it's over here, it's not going to power it at all, as you can see. But as we get closer... As you can see, it's going to get more of a redstone input and eventually power the piston. So you can use your Peters on this so that it basically doesn't it doesn't have that uh it doesn't have that levels or those levels. I can't talk in English today. I'm trying to learn Japanese and I can't even speak in freaking English. Anyways, so yeah, that's what the skulk sensor does, and it's basically like wireless redstone because you can have endless amounts of these things and if these guys make sounds back and forth you can do something like you can do crazy stuff like this where you can make sounds travel beyond reach of humankind i don't know i'm not exactly sure but you can also use wool blocks to like acoustic acousticize it or whatever the word is uh so these are also skulk veins and they're really cool uh so you can acousticize it with wool is acousticize even a word i don't even know if it's a word but as you can see here now that we have this wool, the only way the only way it's going to be sending uh, send, send stuff is not through there, because it can't send it through there. So now it'll only send it this way, because it's been woolified. And then eventually, that one right here will, will can actually probably send it to- oh, Sheep, go away! You're ruining my experiment! Ah, I should've killed you. Should've- Die. Die, die, die. Go away. Go- Okay. Anyways, as you can see, it gets the signal. And then something interesting is if you if it gets a signal, does it like transfer it over here? Ah, oh, no, it doesn't. I thought that that would be cool. I, I thought it would be cool, but no, it, it doesn't do it. Now I'm going to show you this kind of terrifying block called the Skulk Shrieker, and uh, it's a little bit terrifying. And it's so terrifying that Minecraft had to 
say that if there were young audiences watching at their like Minecraft live where they revealed everything, that you should probably be careful because you might have nightmares. Um, uh, so I, I basically just made it out to be this terrifying thing. It's not, it's actually not that scary right now, but it will get more terrifying in the future because in the snap, in the, uh, in the actual like preview of it, it was terrifying. So let's hop onto this thing. So as you can see, it makes a really disturbing shrieking noise. So let's turn off all of the music because the music makes it seem, seem happy. So go off music. Brat, go away. So it makes this horrifying shrieking noise. And then another thing that uh, happens in at least Bedrock Edition right now, that's the only version that has it added, is it will actually give you like a weird blindness effect that makes you partially blind. It also does that, and it makes the wardens completely just summon out of nowhere, so that's absolutely terrifying. I did not see that coming. <laughs> Okay, that is easily the most terrifying thing in Minecraft. So basically, when you stand on this thing, the true experience, it'll give you a really disturbing shrieking sound. Then, it'll give you that really scary darkness effect for just a certain amount of time so that the warden can spawn. And then the warden will come out and absolutely devour you. It's basically like Five Nights at Freddy, just in Minecraft. And oh my goodness gracious me, so much scarier. So I'm gonna do this in survival mode really quick. Let's murder this guy. Uh, sorry, buddy, but dang, you have a lot of health. Dang. Dang. Are you gonna die soon? And, uh... Wait, are you, like, immortal or something? Uh, I think the warden's immortal. So that's cool. I'm just gonna slash kill at E type warden because I am too lazy. Yeah, there we go. So let's do this in survival mode and I'm just gonna see how terrifying this is. So game mode survival and let's turn our brightness all the way down to moody because that's gonna make it even more scary. So let's go over here. Makes a terrifying sound. Um, for now it doesn't do that thing, but as you can- Oh, now it's doing it, it's doing it! As you can see, it goes all dark, crazy, and then the warden comes out. He- you try and walk away, you try and get away from his grasp, but as you can see, he will come over to you, he will destroy you, roar at you, try and get away from him, you can sneak, you can do whatever you want, but he's going to obliterate you. So that's pretty scary, and also now let's turn up my brightness, because I'm f really- being weird, I don't know why. So the deep dark and all those blocks are pretty scary, pretty terrifying, and I'm kind of excited to see what we can do with them in the future. I want to make Wi-Fi, but I'm not so sure how these work. So I'm not a genius at this kind of stuff, but I feel like, um, I feel like I might have an idea. So I don't know. So let's see here. So we have a skulk sensor. And then we surround it with wool on all of the sides, uh, except the front side. Actually, no, we surround it on all sides. But then we do a, uh, trap door right here. So, uh, okay, so we have to have a spot for input, which would be right here. So, I'm assuming since redstone signals can be transmitted through wool, I'm hoping that this, uh, shut up, Alexa! So I'm hoping when I do this, the trap door should activate. Oh, wait, no. Wait, what happened? Does it have to be like this? Hmm, okay. So yeah, that's that's an interesting problem. Because what it does is I'm hoping it will like bring up the trapdoor. But for some reason, maybe do we do this? Can we do that? Hmm, no. Wait, what, about, what if we put it up here? Can we put it up here? No, unfortunately not. What if we do a uh, repeater? Because I'm, an, I'm no redstone genius. But let's try this out. Um... So this is probably the absolute worst way to do this, but it does work. And then what happens is, um, from this far away, hopefully it can detect it from that far away, because... So yeah, that, it connect, it, it takes that. I want to see how far away it can be to take an input from this. So it still takes an input all the way from over there. Let's see. Let's move it, like, two more blocks, and then we'll see... Does it do it all the way over there? No, it doesn't. So maybe one block back? One block back, maybe? Yep, that, that got it. That got it. All right. So, 
That means that every one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks, eight blocks, well, seven ish, but, uh, we can basically place another module. So it'll get the sound in from here. Also, sorry for the Discord notification. <laughs> let, me, let me close that. So I want to be able to transmit a signal of me just jumping. Um, and I want to send like a, I want to just activate a redstone lamp, um, somewhere. So let's see here. So we're going to have to try and turn it right here. I just want to make like a redstone lamp like over here or something. So skulk sensor. And then place a repeater. And then place a redstone lamp. So let's see if we can light up this redstone lamp here. By just wireless redstone. So yeah, it is kind of frequent that you have to place one of these down to make wireless. So I think that could be changed. But... I think this is really cool. Oh my gosh, it actually works. I actually did something for once. I'm, a, I'm actually a good redstone engineer. I, I'm so proud of myself. So, let's get our jukebox. Let's put on Ward. Good song. And I'm pretty sure this is literally just the death march, except Minecraft. Oh no, it's, it's different. Okay. So we have this buddy here, and uh, we have this goat here. So the goat is gonna exist. And then the warden kind of hears it, and he's like, Hey, yo, bro, what's going on here? And then, uh, you gonna, you gonna do anything, goat? Oh, he hears it, he hears the... Go get him! Go get him! Oh, 